In today's video, I'll delve into some promising developments for Social Security beneficiaries and focus on recent statements made by the Social Security Commissioner. Let's dive in and explore the details. Firstly, let's celebrate some excellent news from the Social Security Commissioner. The proposed changes that could significantly benefit beneficiaries won't need to navigate the arduous process of congressional approval. This is a breath of fresh air because, let's face it, congressional procedures can often be slow and uncertain. The Commissioner has assured us that Social Security holds the authority to enact these changes independently, bypassing the lengthy congressional route. This alone is cause for optimism. Now, let's unpack the specifics of the changes the Commissioner aims to implement. We're eagerly awaiting further details from the Commissioner in the coming days, shedding light on the timeline for these implementations. This proactive approach from Social Security sounds promising, especially considering the challenging financial landscape many fixed-income beneficiaries have faced in recent years. Before we delve into the details, I want to extend a friendly reminder. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. It's a small action that can make a big difference. I'm here to support you, keeping you informed and advocating on your behalf through these tumultuous times. Your support means the world to me, and I'm committed to standing by your side every step of the way. Now, let's pivot to the recent interview with Social Security Commissioner Ali. This interview holds particular significance, given the ongoing discussions surrounding the $23 billion in overpayments Social Security seeks to reclaim from beneficiaries. This issue has garnered significant attention, with millions of beneficiaries, primarily SSDI and SSI recipients, receiving daunting overpayment letters annually. These letters demand repayment within a tight time frame, often placing undue financial strain on already vulnerable individuals. The magnitude of this issue cannot be overstated. It has prompted congressional inquiries, hearings, and widespread public outcry. The question on many lips has been, why burden those already struggling with repayments they can ill afford? However, amidst this turmoil, there's a glimmer of hope. Social Security is finally taking decisive action to address these concerns. Commissioner Ali has hinted at forthcoming plans to tackle the overpayment debacle head-on. What's particularly encouraging is that these plans can be set in motion autonomously without the need for congressional deliberation. The proposed solutions include the possibility of implementing a statute of limitations and capping the repayment amount at 10% of the overpayment. While this may not fully alleviate the financial burden for some, it represents a significant step towards fairness and compassion in addressing these overpayments. It's disheartening to learn that some individuals have fallen into homelessness due to the repercussions of Social Security overpayment demands. Take, for instance, the case of a person mentioned in an article I came across. Despite receiving a monthly benefit of $661, which barely covers basic necessities, this individual found themselves without a home. It's a stark reminder of the inadequacy of such benefits in meeting essential needs. In another instance, a recipient from Philadelphia faced a daunting $9,000 overpayment notice. With a monthly disability benefit of $1,200, the prospect of repaying such a substantial sum seemed insurmountable. The Social Security Administration's solution? Threatening to reduce their already modest benefit, potentially pushing them further toward housing instability. Lawmakers recognize the urgency of this situation. They're actively collaborating with the Social Security Administration to find a sustainable solution. Commissioner Alley's proactive approach is commendable. It's clear he's dedicated to resolving this issue swiftly. The stories emerging from this crisis are heartbreaking. Many beneficiaries, through no fault of their own, find themselves thrust into financial turmoil by these overpayment demands. It's akin to a scenario where an employer demands repayment for an overpayment made years ago, a scenario most of us would find unreasonable and unjust. Commissioner Alley's commitment to addressing this issue offers hope to the millions of beneficiaries burdened by these overpayment notices. It's a step in the right direction, offering relief to those facing uncertainty and hardship.